I know the report was due yesterday, Mrs. Hansen, but I've been so swamped lately. <clears throat> oh, gotta go. Chromebook hack for the new classroom. Hi kids, today I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for using your new Chromebook. We'll begin with the basics and then move on to some pro tips that will blow away your friends. First, let's start it up. Here's the power button, which turns your Chromebook on and off. When the Chromebook powers up, it'll take you to a sign-in screen where you'll type your email and password. Don't worry if you're using it for school. Your teacher will tell you how to do that part. To power off your Chromebook, press the power button again and then use the touchpad to select power off. You can also sign out or lock your Chromebook here. It's a good idea to turn it off for several hours at least once a week, just to let it rest. Once you're signed in, you'll see the home screen. Use the touchpad to move to the little circle at the bottom left of the screen. That's called the launcher. Now, click the arrow at the top and you can see all the apps on your Chromebook. Pro tip, there's another way to open the shelf of apps at the bottom of the home screen. You hover over the shelf and swipe up with two fingers at the touchpad. That opens the search bar. Then, swipe up again and see all of your apps. We'll cover a lot more touchpad tips and tricks later in the video. Let's take a closer look at your Chromebook's keyboard. You probably know the basics. The enter key takes you to the next line of text when you're typing. Use the backspace key to delete something you typed. And you'll need to hold down the shift key to make uppercase letters or special characters. There's also a search key that takes you to a toolbar where you can search on your Chromebook or the web. Check out these useful shortcuts along the top. Next to the power button are the volume control keys where you can turn the sound up and down. You'll also need to use the mute key sometimes. You can also adjust your display's brightness depending on how light or dark the space is where you're studying. This show windows key is great for jumping between apps. You can even put them into split screen by dragging and dropping. There are also arrows for going forward and back into your browser. If you want to be a real pro on your Chromebook's keyboard, check out our video covering a bunch more keyboard shortcuts. Let's look for a few of the apps you'll probably use the most. Google Classroom, Google Slides, and Google Docs. It's helpful to put the apps you'll use the most on your shelf so you won't waste time looking for them. To add an app to your shelf, use two fingers to click the icon and then choose Pin to Shelf from the menu. Here's another cool trick. If you want to put apps together in a folder, just drag one onto the other and voila! Then, just name your folder. To download a new app, click on Play Store, search for what you need, and click Install and then Open. Finding your files on a Chromebook is easy if you know where to look. If what you need is saved on your internal hard drive, click the launcher and then open Files to find it. Here are all of your downloaded files. To find files stored in the cloud on Google Drive, click the Google Drive icon in the launcher. If you're assigned into your school account, you'll probably see your assignments here. The Settings menu is the control center for your Chromebook. To get to the Settings menu, click the clock at the bottom right of your screen. That will open a quick settings panel. To open the full settings menu, click the cog icon. From here, you can connect to a Wi-Fi network or link your Chromebook to other devices such as a speaker or a mouse. You can also personalize your desktop wallpaper, even adding your own photo. To make things look bigger or smaller on your screen, click Device from the Settings menu and then Displays. Here, you can adjust the built-in display size and turn on the Nightlight feature, which makes it easier to read in dim light. Now, let's talk about the touchpad and the awesome tricks you can do with it to impress your friends and your teacher. First, the basic moves. If you just want to move your cursor across the screen, use one finger. If you want to click on something, tap lightly. Use two fingers to scroll up or down on a website or document, or to turn the pages in an ebook. To bring up the right-click menu, click with two fingers. To zoom in, put two fingers together on the touchpad and move them away from each other like this. To zoom back out, pinch two fingers together. 
Now, here are a few more super cool moves. Swipe up and down with three fingers to see all the windows you have open. If you have several tabs open, you can swipe left or right with three fingers to move between them. Have you finished your report yet? Mrs. Hanson's on the phone. Just a minute, I'm on a call. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these tips and tricks for using your new Chromebook. Be sure to check out our other videos. Hey, school IT gals and guys. If you want to raise your Chromebook game, drop by samsung.com slash anywhere classroom for resources on Chromebook management, how to win funding, and lesson plans that work great, whether you're in person, remote, or hybrid. Wait a minute, don't go yet. I want to tell you about Samsung Solve for tomorrow. It's a contest that challenges students in grades six through 12 from across the nation to show how STEM can improve their communities. Just by applying, your teacher will get free professional development opportunities, and schools win prizes as they advance in the contest. For more information, visit samsung.com slash solve for tomorrow. Okay, bye.